This video shows uh, a new implantation technique uh, for the uh, Soleco scleral fixated IOL. This was a patient uh, with a very low endothelial account and uh, dislocated intraocular lens. And the plan is to remove the, the IOL and implant uh, a scleral fixated Soleco IOL. Uh, but uh, the patient is quite uh, old and in this case is. Uh, the conjunctival dissection and the posterior reconstruction can be difficult. So I decided to change the technique uh, and implant the IOL with a scleral horizontal tunnels. The technique is quite simple. You have to create an 8mm incision, uh, vertical conjunctival incision, and then apply uh, some diathermy and undermine the conjunctival towards the, the recti muscles. And then uh, it is needed to create a, a scleral tunnel at 4 mm from the medium cervical limbus, which is going to be 2 mm uh, long until it reaches the, the conjunctival incisions, that, it is, uh, con that they are going to be at uh, 2 mm from the medium cervical limbus. Once uh, the, the tunnel is created, uh, the lid of the tunnel has to be lifted in order to check that you can reach the end of the tunnel where the, the IOL plug is going to be buried. Uh, to be able to, to open the lid of the, of the tunnel, you need a very long scleral uh, tunnel. It has to be uh, 6 mm long but only 2 mm width because, uh, and, 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 and one half scleral thickness because you need to be able to, to, to lift the, the scleral lid to find and to, to take out the, the IOL plug. Once the scleral dissection is uh, performed, and also the conjunctival dissection, I'm performing a, a complete vitrectomy and the removal of the, of the IOL. In this case, uh, it is absolutely needed to be very careful because of the corneal damage. You can observe that the cornea is cloudy already. So after performing central vitrectomy, I lift the IOL with suction and I inject this coat over the macula to protect the, uh, the macula from the rotation of the lens during vitreous saving. Then I perform the complete vitrectomy and then I uh, prepare the paracentesis and the main uh, 2 and uh, 2.8 mm incision, lift the, the IOL with uh, suction, make a very good grasping in the middle of the IOL with an IOM forceps and then inject more viscose into the anterior chamber to protect the endothelium. Then I cut uh, the, the IOL with uh, MST um, um, uh, IOL scissors and then I'm removing the IOL. It is quite important to protect the endothelium and the turning of the IOL with a cannula to avoid uh, the, any endothelial trauma during uh, IOL removal. And then we slide the 25G needle until we reach the end of the tunnel, which is going to be 2 millimeters uh, from the medium cervical limbus, and then you get into the vitreous uh, cavity at Surcus uh, with an incision parallel to the iris plane. It is important to make the incision larger with the uh, 25G trocar to be able to, to get into the eye easily with no resistance with the 25B serrated forceps in order to avoid any problems during uh, IOL plug extrusion. And the same in the other eye. You slide a little bit uh, the, the needle until you reach the, the end of the, of the tunnel, 2 mm from the medial surgical limbus, and then uh, the, the, the access uh, into the sulcus is uh, completed enlarge and check with the serrated 25G IOL forces. In cases like this one with a very low endothelial uh, account, I usually inject the IOL directly into the vitreous cavity instead of the anterior chamber to reduce the endothelial damage. So the injection technique is the same, turning the, the injector, grasping the first plug by the middle of the T-shaped uh, external plug and then what I'm doing is injecting the, the IOL into the vitreous cavity completely instead of the anterior chamber 
to avoid any damage to the endothelium. Once uh, the IOL is in the vitreous cavity, uh, the position of the lens has to be uh, assessed and if the lens is turned, uh, you have to untan the lens into the vitreous cavity and once the position is, not, is okay, you take out very slowly and very gently the first uh, IOL plug, like in this case, very slowly in order to avoid taking out the inner optics or breaking the plug. And once uh, it is out, uh, you grasp the, the plug from the other side and prior to taking it out with a second hand maneuver, you make sure that you have a very good uh, grasping of the center of the of the T shaped uh, plug and again you have to take it out very very slowly and checking lifting the the lid of the scleral tunnel that it is into position. Once the plug is uh, extracted you can observe that it is uh, buried by itself at the end of the scleral um, a tunnel and the only thing you have to do is to uh, suture you may even leave this uh, unsuture but in order to to get a better closer and avoid any chance of leaking what I doing I'm doing is uh, passing a new shape uh, uh, stitch with an 80 bikery that is going to close completely the the scleral tunnel and uh, promoting the scarring and avoiding also the, the any risk of uh, plaque extrusion. Using uh, the, the other kind of uh, scleral tunnels that uh, I published uh, previously, uh, the risk of extrusion is high, but with this kind of tunnel, the risk is very low, the same as with the scleral um, flaps. So once uh, the scleral pockets are sutured, I'm uh, um, pushing the, the IOL uh, anteriorly to engage the inner optics into the sulcus and uh, then I'm removing the sclerotomies and the micro cannulas and suturing the sclerotomies as you can see there. Once the sclerotomies are sutured the only thing you have to do is to close the conjunctiva uh, gently with two or three uh, stitches and as you can observe uh, with this uh, architecture the the, the conjunctival incision is uh, is close at two millimeters from the from the medium surgical limbus, and the scleral tunnel is sutured four millimeters from the medium surgical limbus. So it is completely covered by conjunctiva, avoiding any risk of infection or or, or leaking, as you can see. The uh, conjunctival preservation is uh, excellent, and you don't have any risk of. Uh, conjunctival tearing that you may have when you are doing a very large conjunctival dissection to create uh, scleral uh, flaps. So this technique makes the surgery is uh, faster and easier and also more elegant but uh, it has a problem that uh, because the, the taking out the, 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 uh, the IOL plugs is harder if it is uh, too difficult, you can open the sides of the scleral tunnels and uh, convert them into uh, rectangular uh, scleral flaps and, and do it the same way. But definitely this technique is uh, very useful and, and a step forward in, in the uh, Soleco uh, scleral fixated IOL implantation. You can uh, observe the, the suturing of the of the IO, of the uh, conjunctiva and sclera and the position of the Scrap plugs.